I'm going to talk a little bit about prayer and encourage us to to pray and to spend time in prayer every single day as Christians as the followers of Jesus Jesus said that we must pray and pray without ceasing a prayer is is simply a communication between God and man this is what prayer is and we need to as Christians we need to spend time in prayer Jesus asked his disciples to bear to pray with him for at least one hour and I think as followers of Jesus Christ I, strong, I strongly believe that every single day we should spend at least an hour with Jesus before we start our day spent in his word and spread to, uh, spend talking with him I mean think about it why wouldn't you why wouldn't you talk to somebody who holds the universe in his end who has all the wisdom has all the knowledge he has all the resources he has all the connections when you begin your day out praying you set your day and you align your day according to God's will and uh, we in our church we believe we believe that we need to pray and we need to pray a lot well Jesus believed the church needs to pray and pray a lot because he said the house my house will not be called a house of worship house of preaching but he said one thing my house will be called a house of prayer Jesus put a huge emphasis on prayer and I believe as followers of Jesus Christ and as Jesus our role model role model we need to follow his footsteps and put as much emphasis that Jesus puts on prayer Jesus spent mornings in prayer we see Jesus spent nights in prayer on the mountains and so in our church we have uh, we have morning prayers at four o'clock in the morning the church doors are open every single day from Monday through Friday and we encourage every person that is around this area in Pasco uh, or even even Richland and Kenwick it's only our city is not that big it's only a few minutes drive 10 minutes drive or so we encourage you that you come and stop by from four o'clock till about 10 11 o'clock even if you want to come during lunch the sanctuary is open usually the music is playing here come with your bible come with your notebook come and pray and see God's face and do your devotions number one uh, reason why we need to pray is because Jesus prayed and if we as Christians want to be more like Jesus we need to do what Jesus did and so uh, we as a church we have a big vision we have a we have a vision to see a 24 7 prayer chain going in our church that we will have people we will have teams that 24 7 there'll be a prayer offered to God so we can fulfill the scripture that Jesus says pray without ceasing you know there was one revival pastor Lot shared the other uh, the other night where it was for a hundred years without breaking 24 7 there was prayer offered when we pray God moves when we pray God opens the heavens when we pray God begins to answer like Martin already mentioned today is that God uh, Satan can't stop God from answering our prayer Satan is is no match for God so what Satan tries to do is he tries to stop us from praying we see in the story of Daniel the Satan was really bothered by the fact that Daniel was praying because he knew that Daniel is going to pray the Israel out of, uh, out of the captivity and guess what this is exactly what happened and he was he motivated people that Satan was so agitated by Daniel praying that he stirred the hearts of people to write the law to be to, uh, to outlaw to pray to any, anybody and any other God but the king and he, uh, Dave, uh, Daniel was even at that point wasn't willing to give up prayer he was willing to die for prayer I wonder if we would have a perspective of Daniel that we would not let go of prayer even if it costs our life I wonder if we would see the results that Daniel saw so that's why as a church we strongly believe we strongly believe that that prayer is very important I encourage every person especially those of you that are home group leaders or home group helpers come out and pray come out and pray for your home groups come out and pray for the people that God entrusted in your life pray them out let's begin to pray to see that people that are on drugs will begin to set, be set free people that are facing uh, relationship challenges or divorce they will be restored they will be healed people that are in sicknesses that they will be healed if we pray God will answer that's his promise so I encourage every person every person if you have a chance to come out and pray with us pastor is here uh, senior pastor is here from sometimes even three o'clock in the morning our, our youth pastor is here from five o'clock in the morning till a whole morning uh, a bunch of our leaders are here other people coming in even people that don't go to our church stop by here uh, and, and come and, and pray so I encourage every person come out 
come on and pray if I, I see uh, Isenia she she's a single mom and she has two kids and she's able to make it to morning prayer I think a bunch of us that are here are single or maybe we're married and we don't have much responsibilities you have no excuse not to be here if uh, Nadia who has three kids makes it here with three of her kids when her husband is at work all by herself and she comes here in the morning and walks back and forth with them carrying one child and two on both sides and walking back and forth praying we as young people we have no excuse not to pray and so if if, if you uh, if you are around here come on and pray let's see God move let's see God move God will move only when we pray God has already done everything in his power he's done everything he opened the treasuries of heaven he sent Jesus Christ and died for the world he saved he died for the whole world but it'll be up to us how many people will get saved it'll be up to us how many people we pray out because those people we don't pray for Satan will not let go of them easily and so I encourage every person make the time in the morning the mornings are the best times because when you wake up you have a clean slate you like a clean your mind is like a clean canvas there's nothing written on it there's no worries there's no anxieties let Holy Spirit take the best part of your day let Holy Spirit occupy the best portion of your day and you'll see that Holy Spirit will help you in your affairs in your daily tasks with your problems with your anxieties with your worries you'll see that they're going to go down and and Holy Spirit will use you to intercede for other people amen are you going to be praying generation come on are we going to be a generate Jacob generation that seeks God's face let's put it together so I'm looking forward to see you all I believe that one one day we will have morning service filled like this with people every pew will be filled every spot will be filled and we will be praying for our generation we will see a great move of God amen let's put our hands together one more time for Jesus